I'm Ashley and again welcome. Uh, so today we are actually going to do a bud vase. What is in this bud vase you ask? Um, well it is sugar and when you get the molds from makeyourownmolds.com which they are great you should you should check them out. Um, this is their uh, sealing wax. Um, putty kind of uh, anyway, when you make your mold, this is how they tell you to prepare whatever you're preparing. I use the beer bottle kit, but I use my own um, bud vase. So, again, I'll do a video on that in a little while. But, uh, so this is the final product. This is what you get. So it's right now um, ready for you to pour sugar, gla sugar glass. Blah, 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 blah in but I will open this and uh, show you exactly what the mold looks like and um, yeah. so. all right so when you have finished curating your mold that's it on the inside I don't want to uh, open it too much uh, cuz I don't want to break the and mess up the integrity of the mold you do not need a mold release with these molds. Uh, in fact, you shouldn't spray anything because it makes the uh, sugar cloudy. So the silicone is great. It's two part silicone mold kit, and this is the end product. And then when you're ready to pour, you take your mold. Take your mold. And then this is just to keep a nice seal on it. You slide that over like that and then you just put your rubber bands around to make sure that you have a nice tight seal on that seam there if you could see yeah cool cool so that is our mold now I'm finishing putting these rubber bands on let's talk about the sugar we're gonna use the isomalt so remember in the previous video I did a test sample that had citric acid this is the citric acid uh, sugar that has hardened and cooled in our lovely little um, pink silicone mold. Uh, it's super bubbly, but the center is clear, if you can see. So it's actually not too bad. It's just yellow. So the citric acid didn't really clarify anything. It kind of made stuff worse, and it, but it is a nice amber color. So I'm going to reuse it because, um, again, that's what's so great about this stuff. Uh, if you make too much, you can just let it harden and then reuse it. So, same step as before when I uh, rehydrated the green in the previous video. You can go back and look at it, but I'm going to do it. Uh, it's just enough uh, distilled water to kind of cover this up. It's all going to cook off, but it helps... Uh, the temperature of the sugar uh, stay consistent rather than just applying direct heat to this nice hardened piece of uh, of, of, of ice malt. All right, so that has reached its temperature, mm, or it will in a minute while I talk. Um, got my bowl of water, cold water, so I can stop the cooking process. It is important, please don't miss this step because it will continue to heat up and then if you want a clear um, glass then it's just going to turn yellow and that's not at all what you want, right? You want a nice clean glass. This will be yellow because I put the citric acid, acid oh my god, the citric acid in it so it's already yellow. This is just reused stuff. Protection. is important in case it pops. Go, one, two. Super satisfying. All right, that's enough of that. I had preheated our Pyrex already. All right, so that's nice and warm to the touch. The oven is preheated to 300, so we're gonna put this into cure now. and steady okay so while that's curing we're gonna talk about what the pouring process is uh, when you're doing a mold uh, that's not like flat so this is a three-dimensional bud vase mold right so what you're gonna have to do 
is pour it in and then you have to let the bottom set up usually 15 20 minutes uh, if you want a thicker bottom you leave it longer you know but then you want to flip the thing the mold the thing um, the mold while everything is still kind of hot so the excess can run up so you don't have a solid product so you have a nice hollow um, vessel essentially so the setup I've got right here is again use what you have you don't need special tools for this that's why this is such a cool thing um, I have my silicone um, baking sheet that I'm gonna end up sit the excess is gonna run into here this is just a little 8 inch baking tin and then I have two uh, pizza cutters on their sides it makes a nice flat level surface and I just got them clipped on so they don't move on around on me and so what's gonna happen is you're gonna have your hot liquid and your hot sugar in there and you're gonna flip it and then all of that excess is gonna run down into the pan and then you don't have to transfer it again so you can save it for later which is really nice because every time you transfer it you are gonna leave a little bit behind you can't get it all if you can let me know how you did it cuz you're a wizard um, so cool so that is your setup for your pouring uh, and then once this stuff cures then we'll do a pour cool there's our hot lollipop All right, so now that I've coated all of the sides, I'm just gonna slowly fill the rest of this up. I'm gonna use all of this. And go all the way to the top. Okay, so this has set up, I can feel it. It's warm on the bottom, so that means this is set up and it's, um, you know, a little bit firm to the touch. So I'm going to flip this guy and let the excess sugar kind of run out. So there it is. So that's going to, I'm just gonna let this go until uh, it has stopped uh, draining, really, I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, so what's happening now is we've let the bottle on the inside set up. Um, it's firm to the touch here it doesn't flex a whole lot which is good that means that the bottom uh, has set up nice and firm and so all of this excess is going to run out and coat the sides as it does it and then uh, we're going to let that sit there basically for a couple hours to really just let it solidify and then we'll come back in and make sure that we get rid of whatever tail is left over and then we will um, take it out so the bud vase is uh cured it's nice and hardened we are going to take it out ah, yay so I haven't used this mold yet so I was uh, curious as to how this was going to go. Well, got a couple of holes, but pretty good for the citric acid uh, isomalt. Um, Clearly, it's not as strong without the distilled water. I don't know what the difference is, but if you look, the bottom is nice. See, we got a nice bottom on it, and it's, but it's still not super clear. But the color's okay, and, you know, from that far away, not too bad. Um, I was hoping that this one would not be holy. Well, uh, I'm going to do a water test this guy and see how long it will hold water. All right, so we're gonna do a liquids test to see. How well this holds up. So starting the timer. All right, 
so we're at 16 minutes. This is holy. You know what I mean? Like, that's... All right. 